Hello, it's only me, Rox, from Sugarwell. Today I am making a soap created by AI. You must be living in a cave if you haven't heard of ChatGPT by now. I asked ChatGPT to explain itself because I can't, and this is what it said. ChatGPT is a type of artificial intelligence AI model that is trained to understand and respond to human language. It's trained using a large and then it stops for ages to think about it and then throws all this up all in one go. So all you really need to know is this part which is that ChatGTP is a kind of artificial intelligence AI model that's trained to understand and respond to human language. It's trained using a large data set of text such as books, articles and conversations and learns to generate text that is similar to the language it was trained on. But it's way more than that and there's loads of different ways that you can use it. All you have to do is take a look at um, YouTube and there's tons of videos out there. Even Christian Gurumurthy's got in there interviewing it for the news. So, being the curious sort of person that I am, and experimental, I decided to ask ChatGPT to formulate a soap recipe for me. Give me a formula in grams for making one kilogram of handmade soap using any or all of the following oils. Coconut oil, olive oil, shea butter, hemp seed oil, sunflower oil, rapeseed oil. Choose three colours that will complement a fragrance called pure seduction. The inspiration is Valentine's Day. Also suggest interesting additives that will fit with a Valentine's theme. The formula chat GPT came up with. 400 grams of coconut oil, 300 grams of olive oil, 200 grams of shea butter, 100 grams of hemp seed oil, 100 grams of sunflower oil. Here's the colours it decided on. Red for a romantic Valentine's Day vibe, fine. Pink for a playful feminine touch, I can live with that. Purple for a luxurious, rich look. And here's the additives that I asked it to add. So we've got rose petals for a romantic floral touch. Yeah, can live with that. Raspberry seeds for a gentle exfoliating effect. And chocolate chips for an indulgent sweet touch. Okay. I mean, I've never seen a chocolate chip soap before, but you know, I'm game for anything. Right, so I've inputted the formula or the amounts of oils into soap calc and it's actually given me 110 or 1100 grams instead of one kilo that's how smart it is so if i just scroll down can take a look at the soap qualities but you know what it, it looks okay um the, it's kind of a bit low on the hard well you know it's okay for the hardness but it's, it doesn't look like it's gonna be really hard Cleansing's a little bit high, but it has put a lot of coconut oil in there. Conditioning, 52, good. Bubbly, 24, good. Creamy, 19, good. Yeah. Let's try it out. From this moment, I will be narrating the video in real time as it happens. Please forgive any verbal slip-ups, pauses and verbal diarrhea that may occur. In a Yorkshire accent. Okay, so... ChatGPT has designed my soap. Uh, I've had to wait a few days because I needed to get some of, whoops, some of these raspberry seeds. So I had to wait for those to be delivered. I live in a massive city. Can you get raspberry seeds somewhere local? No. So I had to wait for them to be delivered. Um, and then I did notice afterwards that whilst I asked ChatGPT to uh, make me a one kilogram loaf of soap, 110 grams it's given me, 110 grams, never mind it's okay. So I've got my raspberry seeds, oops, I'll lose them, and I thought I'd use white chocolate chips so that they show up. I mean, let's face it, 
they're pretty much gonna melt aren't they that's what I'm thinking but just in case uh, I've got white chocolate chips um, what I'm going to do to try to prevent these from melting is actually saponify the soap in the freezer well the fridge or the freezer um, in the hope that they might maintain their structural integrity but I just doubt it okay so chat GPT I didn't ask it to actually design the soap for me so I'm going to have to design that myself and it's quite sensible because I don't know what it would have suggested that I do with the chocolate chips so what I thought I'd do is Excuse my drawing. I'm going to split it into three layers. So we're going to have the purple layer here. Purple. Uh, this is going to be pink. This is going to be red. And I'm going to have the raspberry seeds in these two layers. And sandwiched in the middle, I'm going to have the chocolate chip layer in the pink. That's our design. Let's see how it turns out. Okay, let's get weighing. So we want 400 grams of coconut oil. It's a bit taken out now. 401. Now we want 200 grams of shea butter. Now to put those in the double boiler uh, to melt. Okay, liquid oils. We want 300 grams of olive oil. Bang on, 300. Want 100 grams, 100 grams of hemp oil. Okay. Oh, 69. See, if I talk while I'm doing this, I'll go over. I know that. When you go over, you can't go back. Ninety-eight. 
finally, a hundred grams of. Look, it's getting all greasy. Uh, hundred grams of sunflower oil, which brings us to one thousand one hundred grams, not one kilo. Oh, nearly that. Oh. Ah, that's near enough. I want twenty percent uh, water, twenty percent of the oil weight. So I want. 220 grams of water. Ugh. And it really doesn't matter if the, the water's exact, if it's just a little bit over, it don't matter. It don't matter. 121. Fine. Okay. And then I want to use these scales. So I want now I want 158 grams of sodium hydroxide. bit under on the lie is what well, all it's going to do is give a little bit of extra super fat. Okay, so that's done. So now I just need to weigh out my fragrance and this is it. Pure Seduction from Craftastic. Um, I got this, it was so cheap because it was in the sale and I thought I'm going to grab me this because I really like the smell and it's really good for if I'm just experimenting with something because it hasn't cost me a lot of money. Okay, so how many grams do we need of fragrance? We need um, 34.10 grams. And it will be all right between 34 and 35 if I can get the top off. Right, well, 30 will do, I imagine. Because I'll tell you what, people are getting this soap. I can't sell it, but I'll be giving it away. Might do it on April Fool's. 32 cents, that will be fine because that's still less than 3% of the total soap weight. Okay, so I'm going to use the whole bag of that, and that's. 100 grams. I'm not going to use the whole bag of these. Or should I? No, I think I'm going to use 50 grams. So I'll weigh out 50 grams of these. Oh, I'm going to weigh out two lots of 25. Ugh, 
two. And another 25. I'm not going to, when it comes to separating the colours, I'm not, I'm seriously not weighing it. Uh, I'm just going to do that by eye. Oh, uh, I haven't got much purple left. Let's get some purple in there. red that will probably not go red it does if you let the soap batter get hot enough it goes a really good red color however because I'm going to be putting this in the fridge to try and preserve those um, chocolate drops it's probably just going to go a dark pink I might just add a little touch of um, red oxide if I've still got some see if that will make it a little bit redder in here I'm just going to put some titanium dioxide for my pink which I'm going to mix with some water I'll add the pink malika um, when I'm doing that layer so I can get the colour that I want so to this I just want to mix it with couple of spoons of water to dissolve it stop it from being clumpy having little spots in it okay I'm all set I think I'm all set oh rose petals right okay Okay, I cannot for the life of me find my rose petals. They might yet turn up, but I'm going to substitute them with these hibiscus flowers. I mean, it's the same principle. These are very crispy. I'm going to choose some nice ones, I think. They're nice and these are probably pinker than the rose petals I've got, wherever they are. I don't know where they've gone. So I'm just going to decorate it with these instead of the rose petals. Uh, unless I unearth the rose petals because I know I have some somewhere. I even know the last time I used them. The last time I used them was to make some bath bombs. Now, where have they gone? Who knows? I'm going to use these hibiscus flowers or hibiscus blossom that sounds nicer doesn't it my hard oils have melted so I'm just going to add them to my other oils a 
and let them mingle. I'll just put them back into my warm water for a few seconds. Okay, let's get this show on the road. In goes the lye. I have added a little bit of sodium lactate. or else the chocolate chips if they don't melt which they will and I've just thought another thing about the chocolate chips is that they're full of sugar let's hope we don't get a volcano but let's risk it right I think I want it more pink than that even really contrasts with the I'm going no further than that with the pink let's mix these other two up I'm putting this in the fridge these colours are not going to be so vibrant but I think that's the least of my worries okay right Spatula. Right, I'm just going to guess about a third of this yep I think that'll do I'm just going to blend this up to a thicker trace. Okay, that's a trace. Let's add some of our raspberry seeds. all just going to flow I can't I don't remember ever using seeds in soap before I have used some hibiscus powder but I don't think I've used any seeds right where's my mold okay I'm not too worried about these being perfect or straight or anything like that Now for our pink layer with chocolate chips. I don't know, let's add some fragrance. Give it a good old stir. I think I'll save some of this just a little bit to maybe do the top. purple setting up a little bit more but never mind I'll just leave that for two ticks there's our chocolate chips I think what I'm going to do before I put any in there is just sprinkle a few on the top of this purple there 
they're probably going to get driven to the bottom aren't they it's looking a bit sinky Okay, now I think I'm going to have to put it in the freezer. Okay, that will do. Here goes. Silly chat GPT chocolate drops. Right. Get those stirred in and poured. They will be melting already, I expect. Green shot. Oh look, they're melting. I can see them there. I don't know if you can see them. There. Okay, the final layer. How are we doing? How are we doing here? Okay, let's add our fragrance. Get in for a whiz. Raspberry seeds in. Right, there we go. Right, okay. I'm just going to leave that there for two minutes to set up so I can spoon it. Oh no, that's not working. I'm a bit worried because I want to get this. Really, I want to get this into the freezer ASAP. I don't want to have to wait for it. Oh, it's still too soggy. I'm gonna do some of the pink and go down one side. Now I've got my hibiscus flowers and I have to say these are quite sharp. So it's a good job we're just making this soap for fun. Um, oops. Oh. 
I um, I cook with hibiscus actually, hibiscus powder. Put it in chilies. I put it in my risotto. And there's this absolutely fantastic um, West Indian drink that I can't remember the name of offhand, but it's hibiscus and ginger. But they call hibiscus red sorrel. I can't remember the name of that drink. That's going to drive me mad. Jay, what's that West Indian drink with the red sorrel in it? Is that all it's got? Oh, it had a name. Sorrel and ginger. Didn't really have a name after all. The kind of defined separate name, sorrel. Well, the sorrel in that drink is actually this hibiscus. So, if you look at these, they're actually quite sharp. They're sharp. But they're just for decoration. They do, if you boil these, you will get colour out of them as well. You will get a red colour. I have tried that in soap previously, but my soap came out. While the water that I boiled them in was pink, the soap came out much more of an orangey sort of brown colour. There, I think we're done. Just tidy it up a little bit. What a mess I've made as is usual. And there's our chat GPT formulated soap. Into the freezer. Pronto. Thank you for watching. To see how the artificial intelligently designed soap turned out, tune into part 2. Subscribe to be notified when part 2, the cutting, drops, or just keep checking, the old-fashioned, natural way.